Quick question to you watching. What do you value as kindness? Is it the way people smile you? Maybe somebody displaying good manners or sharing whatever they have with you. These could be all seen as kindness, but does that make you a kind person? In other words, benevolent. Usu, my name is GX Xiao and today we are actually going to be touching upon the best boy, Tanjiro. This is the series in where we learn the inspiration and hardship of another character and how it can apply to us human beings in the real world. So I would massively appreciate if you would leave a like, comment below the kindest someone has been towards you and subscribe to the channel. This all helps the video to be seen by more people and pushes me on to keep going. So now, let's dive into the personality of the benevolent Tanjiro Kamado. So with the death of his family and the only one remaining being Nezuko, at such a young age he'd been put in a position to grow up fast and become mature. He has responsibilities and has to make sure Nezuko can become human again. This is going to be difficult, but try and put yourself in his shoes. This must be borderline unbearable and one of the worst positions anyone could be in. I wouldn't even wish it upon my worst enemy. But what would your reaction be? Upset? Angry? Closed off? Depressed? These are all common reactions to devastating events. You may even not interact with the people around you the same, but through the eyes of Tanjiro, he sees nothing but compassion, ambition and determination. He doesn't have normal eyes compared to everyone else, which is most likely the reason why so much people naturally gravitate towards him. You can feel a sense of trust, even though you just met the boy, you can tell he's not going to let you down. An example of this is when on the 7th episode of Demon Slayer, after Tanjiro kills 3 demons that killed the fiancé of Mr. Kazumi, he goes to him and comforts him. Due to the loss of the fiancé, Kazumi then responds by bursting out in desperation as why he should listen to a child's advice, and without knowing what Tanjiro himself has been through, he assumes he doesn't understand this feeling. But his mood did a total 180. When Tanjiro grabbed his hand and with his eyes and hands alone, you can already gather all the information that you needed from him. Kazumi understood right there and then Tanjiro was not a regular person. He had hands that was like a man. In fact, he is closer to be a man than a little boy. The kind heart that runs through Tanjiro's DNA does not even allow him to get angry or upset at Kazumi's outburst, but aims to comfort him while dealing with his own heartbreak. Especially with the fact at the time, he wasn't able to help Nezuko or find a way to get her back to a human. Now, as the viewer watching, we can learn something from this positive radiating energy Tanjiro shows every single episode. Whether it's to a demon or whether it's to a human, it doesn't matter. Now, a lot of people wonder, why on earth would you sympathize with a demon that has killed tens of hundreds of humans? and regretted it just because they are going to die? This shows the different level of understanding and forgiveness Tanjiro really has in his heart. He sees all of them as humans just making mistakes, sins in this case. He only kills them because it would protect a lot more people from dying. Tanjiro Kamado's heart at times are too big for this world and it really shows. In reality, anyone as monstrous as Rui would probably have no sympathy towards him whatsoever, further portraying the pureness of Tanjiro's heart. Tanjiro's Translating heart. this to the real world, this is very uncommon. A lot of people encounter in their life a few people who struggle to show acts of kindness on a consistent basis and are not aware when they are to various reasons. Prime example of what I mean is shown within Inosuke's behaviour. When Tanjiro, Inosuke and Zenesu began recovering after they met each other, and they were fighting, Inosuke showed a sense of jealousy and annoyance due to Tanjiro's kindness. He tried his best to rile him up, but it never seemed to work. People out here would lack manners, have a sense of entitlement, when in all honesty, we are all human beings. Yes, we are not all equal, but that doesn't negate the fact that we should not show kindness to each other or we should change it based off the person. Just showing respect to your community can go a very long way. Tanjiro always showed that willingness to share, to put others before him no matter what the situation is. 
But the only person Tanjiro cannot do that with is the scum Muzan. This reminds everyone that we are still human beings. These emotions will always be a part of us, but it's only down to how you choose to suppress it. The threshold for Tanjiro to reach that point to hate somebody, no matter how benevolent he actually is, he couldn't bear to see Muzan walking around with no regard to human life. For the people at home to reach this point, the threshold could be much lower. What Muzan was able to do was kill his whole family that triggered him and unlocked that side of Tanjiro, which is shown in the show to be rare and uncommon. This common theme happens when someone tries to hurt his family. He always retaliates to save the vulnerable. He did it against Sanemi when he was stabbing Nezuko. He did it when he was protecting the people in the final selection and saved them in the process by holding the arm of Genya. He always seems to be able to help people when he sees them vulnerable. That actually represents a part of his side which is heroic, which is a heroic personnel. So back to the question. I asked at the beginning of the video, what is being kind to you? This question is so volatile because it is a broad range of things, but we can all agree that Tanjiro is kind, right? This would lead to a more common understanding being what we need to aim to be. So in this case, it would be best to aim to be like Tanjiro, to others where it fits to our day to day life, to make a world a better place. So the message of this video pretty much is just to be kind to each other. We know that everyone goes through difficult times, everyone gets angry, everyone gets to a position where they feel like they can't control their emotions. But the best thing to do in that situation is always to make sure how to make it the best of it. And in this case, it's by being respectful, being kind, having manners, making sure the person is comfortable and you are too. Make sure that you're not singling anyone out, things of this nature and that would help everyone that as you go in schools, as you get up in a job, everyone feel comfortable and make the world a better place. Just be like Tanjiro. Alright cool, that's it for me guys, that is the end of the video. Up here are more videos like this that I've made and these are actually about Jujutsu Kaisen on the screen. So make sure to check these, follow me on Twitter and Discord, links are going to be in the description down below. And like I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, in Jana. Yeah,